Hello everyone. How are you today? I hope all of you are doing well. Let me introduce myself first. My name is Gaya Pratita Adiarti and just call me Gaya. It is such an honor for me to be here and bring my own short speech. I'm sorry I'm not a good speech beforehand because to be honest, I'm not good at speaking in public. Even if it is speaking online like this, I'm not good at it. Well, I will try my best to share my ideas and experiences with all of you right now. I want to talk about the common problem in our lives and our health, a mental disorder, or everyone usually knows this as a mental illness. No, no, it is not about people that are going crazy or whatever it is called. It is not like that, actually. Most of us know mental disorders or mental illness, and maybe it has ever happened to most of us. Mental disorder or mental illness is a term of various conditions that influence a person's thoughts, feelings, moods, or behavior. Many kinds of mental disorders happen to depend on their cause. Our focus today is on one of the mental disorders called anxiety. What is anxiety? As I found the meaning of anxiety on the internet, anxiety is a feeling of unease, such as worry or fear, that can be mild or severe. Everyone has feelings anxiety at some point in their life. During times like this, feeling anxious can be perfectly normal. But some people are different. They find it hard to control their worries. Their feelings of anxiety are more constant and can often affect their daily lives. Why do we get to focus on this one mental disorder instead of the others? I'm sure that each of you ever gets fear and worry about something. I'm also sure that you may get panicked if your plans do not work as well as you have planned it before. Let me share a little bit of my story. It is a story about my journey as myself. I'm not an important person. I'm not a famous influencer too. I'm not a well-known actress or even a singer. I'm just a college student who wants to share my experiences as a human with all of you. I'm introverted since I was in kindergarten. I don't like being in a room full of strangers. I don't know what to do around new people that I don't know yet. Then I often become quiet when I first met new people. I'm not the all eyes on me kind of thing since I was five years old. When my kindergarten teacher asked me to join a competition requiring me to get on stage, like reading a poem competition or singing competition, I got so nervous. I often asked my teacher to go to the restroom before getting on stage. I like being an average person. I choose to be alone at home and do things that I like instead of attending crowded, hectic, and noisy events. It makes me dizzy. I'm also an overthinker person. I always worried about every little thing that bothered me and often thought it deeply. For example, when I was in elementary school, I was afraid that I could not make friends with the students because I'm different from the other students. I'm the minority of the majority students. I went to a public elementary school, but there are some students that a little bit bossy. I followed everything that my friends say to me. I have never rejected them, even though I actually didn't like what they are asked me to. I never got angry with them because I didn't want to lose friends. I have a high insecurities level. I don't have confidence. For instance, when I went to junior high school, 
I am shy to ask questions, even though I still don't understand the material in class. I don't have the courage to raise my hand and ask my teacher because none of my friends raised their hands. I always compared my brain with my friends' brains, and I always felt not smart enough to see my friends. I don't believe in myself that I can study and be a smart student like the other students, which causes me to become more insecure. I really want to make my parents proud of me, but what I always do is think that I cannot do that. I always think that become smart is difficult. My mindset kills me, and it causes my fear to become bigger even my grades get lower and lower each day. My unconfidence also happened in senior high school. I still felt inferiority with the other students. I'm afraid that I cannot reach my goals, which is to make my parents proud of me. I tried to study as hard as I could, but insecurity, fears, also overthink always haunt me. The peak of it is at the end of my senior high school. I was terrified about the final exams. Also, I was terrified that I cannot get into my favorite public university that I want. I cannot sleep well each night, and I often cried. Then I encourage myself to tell my father and my mother about my problem because I thought that I couldn't handle it by myself anymore. I told everything and their opinion about my problems are so much higher than my expectations. They don't want me to have any worries. They strengthen me and they give me more spirit. They never force me to become a winner or number one in everything. I'm very grateful and feel blessed because I have a family that always makes me feel loved and supported. Also, I have close friends that always support me, whatever happens to me. They always support me as I am. They told me that grades aren't everything in this world. What really matters is that I can be someone who can be useful for the others around me. After suffering this unhealthy mental problem for so long, finally, I'm trying to be the better version of myself for myself and everyone around me. This unhealthy mental problem taught me to be a stronger woman. It also taught me to be grateful for who I was and taught me to love myself first. I hope for anyone out there suffering from their fear, worry, overthink, and unconfident can fight through this mental disorder. I hope that all of you can recover from it and be the better version of yourself. Life is too short of killing yourself with everything that you shouldn't think too much about. Go live our life at its best. Seek some help to relieve your anxiety. I know that all of you can make it. Remind yourself with spirit quotes that you can get over all of your problems. I think that's all that I can share with all of you today. Thank you for your attention and I apologize if there are mistakes in my English because I'm still trying to speak English well. Once again, thank you and have a good day, everyone.